What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out WWE Top 40 standing ovations that shocked the whole world. Man, this should be a good video. It's always good when you have those standing ovation moments from the crowd showing their appreciation or excitement for something. It's just a, a, always a good feeling, man, to see thousands of people showing their love and appreciation for what has happened or what's happening. So, uh, within the ring. So, we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. All right, let's get into the video. Can you dig it, dig it, sucker? Oh, that's Hulk Hogan right there. Look at that reaction. Look at that. Look at that reception. He was getting emotional too. Look at that. That is awesome, bro. <laughs> you know it's cool when the commentators, they don't even say nothing. They just let the crowd just go crazy. That's so cool. I know Hulkamania will live forever. Big night tonight. Huge night. Tonight is Captain Charisma's night. To prove that he deserves the No doubt about it. What a hot kick. Wow. Of fans. Can't wait to get to back. And that's how they want to see Captain Charisma. Look at these people standing on their feet, they are. Can you believe that? You know, historically, I told Vince McMahon that I deserved to be in the main event. And I beat that Ali G ripoff, John Cena. Well, listen to the Good pop. Match. The love. Listen to the love. Very, very emotional, but you gotta understand the position that the game is in tonight. I do. And Rip Flair, the guest. Look at that, man. Look at that. Man, that's that is unusual. These people are actually chanting Goldberg. What's wrong with them? Goldberg. Listen to that. Not Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> I think they only I just realized that they did show the little clip between the Hardys and Edge and Christian that was a standing ovation moment because of their rivalry and them shaking hands that is a standing ovation moment but you probably have to cut the clip up for copyright reasons he's not supposed to be here tonight but he is here and he's listen to that Oh my God! Where you are, and just go into the hotel, and I'll meet you there for dinner, Dad. Here comes the pain. The difficult trying to figure out. He, he was super over around this time. You see the from a wound suffered in the hands of John Cena a week ago. Here comes the pain. The standing ovation he always deserves. This is when we really thought he was going to retire. We thought this was it. He didn't at the time. This is so good, too. Such a good moment, bro. Such a good moment. <laughs> and it went all the shambles very quickly. <laughs> if you know, you know, Johnny Tommaso Ciampa 
best feud in NXT history, right? At, in my personal opinion. This was a cool moment, Clash at the Castle. Such a good, oh, I'm getting goosebumps from this. He was so over, so over. Well, Roman Reigns has never had to face Drew McIntyre. Become the undisputed WWE. Look at that, bro. And this is a standing ovation with a sold out crowd. Love, love, love some Mick Foley, man. Loves to make Foley, man. He deserves all the praise and adulation. He never wore a nice jacket. I think I... Night after WrestleMania 30. Crowd running off the yes movement high. Daniel Bryan is your new champion. That Monday Night Raw was fucking lit after Mania 30. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Look at this. The you deserve a chance. Let him keep going. Look at that. The you deserve a chance. You oh my god, it's giving me goosebumps. Weight championship opportunity, but Murphy says he's mature at 205 live. That was good. He got some love. This right here. <laughs> this was it. This was the moment where it's like, okay, we know how this story has to go. He has to be the guy to defeat Daniel Bryan. This was so cool to see how he organically got over, bro. He organically, it just happened. He was at the right place at the right time. Mustafa Ali ended up getting hurt. He was supposed to be in the Elimination Chamber match. This is how it happened. Bro. This was in Houston, too. I think this is when he came back from fighting uh, leukemia. <laughs> and it's crazy because, you know, obviously he was dealing with that real life situation. And then uh, the booze started coming in slowly but surely you know what i'm saying he was going right back down the same path but this was one of the few times he was genuinely getting real love from the people because they cared about his health you know i'm in remission y'all that's that was a good moment love me some jr man Love me some JR, man. By God, I gotta tell you, it's great to be back home. Oh, man. Forever. It, it, it's bigger than that, Corey. Love it. He knows well, cool and gets disqualified. <laughs> Look at this. Bye -bye. Kevin, Kevin Owens. He's Shane. Owen Hart. Wow. Awesome. Owen Hart wearing a Toronto Argonauts football jersey from the Canadian Football League. The youngest son of Kevin. Look at all those signs. 24-year-old rookie king who may be in the running for 1998 rookie. Of Owen Hart, the overhand wrist lock on. Uh, on the 6'4", 240-pound rookie, Edge. Wow, oh, that's a young Edge, bro. I didn't even recognize him. That was a young Edge. Damn. <laughs> this Just didn't have enough.
This was a good moment too. He was super over, bro. He was super over in NXT. Like, mega over. Oh, this, this was so good, too. This was so fucking good. Bray Wyatt winning the WWE Championship. Oh, my God. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh, my God. I'm getting goosebumps because they pulled the trigger. And I was like, oh, my God, they did it. Not only did he beat John Cena, he beat AJ Styles. Oh, and that next time they was on SmackDown. Bro, it was the you deserve it. He got the whole world in his hands, and then they fucking ruined it. They had him lose to Randy Orton. Oh, I believe he ended up losing to Randy Orton that year. Oh, man. He deserves so much better. And we love us some Sean down here in Texas, man. Sean Michaels, he's golden for sure. Especially in Texas. Ah, oh, William Regal. wrestlers like the likes of Billy Robinson. Dongo, go. It's hard to say. Fandango, go. <laughs> this crowd was lit. Glad to be called there. Beat in Edmonton for Damn. That's crazy. It was crazy how over Benoit was, too. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. The World Wrestling Federation, allow me to. But it is. What? There's the nature the boy. Woo! The standing elevation here at the Coliseum in the Queen City. You can't just crowd Where's security. Look at that sight. What's wrong with that picture? Am I Look at that, that, man. Your hometown, isn't it, Ric Flair? That's why he's here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Randy! Oh, oh yeah, this was for uh, like Randy Orton appreciation night. I can't wait for him to come back, bro. Standing ovation by how massive this moment is in his career. No doubt about it, Saxon. Can't wait for him to come back. Man. Well, there's the country. Yeah, he. I think he was uh, back at home. <laughs> Who remembers when Jinder Mahal was the damn WWE champion? You knew this had to be in there. It. How could this not be in one of the greatest standing ovations of all time in wrestling? The the. <laughs> Money in the bank. Look at this. Fucking love his old theme song. Oh, man. And it's just crazy, bro, that there are reports saying that, that I think AEW just... I think they're going to buy out his contract and so, and then release him 
or whatnot because he's still on the contract with them. But I think they're just probably just going to go ahead, probably just buy out the contract or whatnot and cut their, cut their losses with him. That's fucking insane. We're saying that in 2022. Jeez, bro. Uh, that is just, just insane. The fact that they are willing, I believe that's what the reports were saying. People are saying they're willing to buy out his multi-million dollar contract just to cut ties. Or I'm guessing that's how it's going to happen. I'm, I don't think they're just going to release him. They can't because he's under contract. So they'll probably just buy out his contract. All right, bro. We're just going to pay you the rest of your money so you can go. That's wild. And he has returned home tonight mm-hmm. to Washington, D.C. I love Batista's theme song, too. And it never seems to matter. <laughs> yep. Yeah, when he came back home, he was super over, bro. This was cool. This was such a cool moment. And Sammy trying to fight out of this, and he hangs Sheamus up on the. T- it is a Look at that. Bell center. Got right here in his hometown. Yeah, this was recent WrestleMania. Yeah, that was pretty much him letting it be known that he's going to be stepping away from the in-ring competition, obviously for his health and stuff like that. So it was just, it was a nice send-off for his in-ring wrestling career. Rest in peace, Eddie, man. From El Paso, Texas. Hey, Joe, you know, standing by the U.S. champion, driving up on a stop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Rest in peace, Eddie, man. Orale, mi raza! Damn. Young Tracy Smith with battle cancer all her ball. 60 minute time limit. It's sold out in Birmingham. And uh, the British Bulldog holding up. And I believe that was the last, that was, a, that was the first time, uh, This I believe this took place in SummerSlam. Oh, and I believe, uh, yeah, this uh, took place in at SummerSlam. I'm not sure. The year, uh, let me know down below. I don't know if it was 82. I could be wrong. Let me know the year. But this took place overseas or whatnot. It was a great event. Obviously, British Bulldog was in his backyard. So. Oh. <laughs> this is when it was, uh, he was back at home. 16,683. This was good, too. They got to show the one at WrestleMania, bro. They got to show the one at WrestleMania. His, his, the pop he got at WrestleMania was ridiculous. Put it around the waist of the American nightmare. Yes, I hope that's I hope that happens. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh my It's tonight. You can feel it in the air. Look at that. Look at that atmosphere, man. Welcome home. Third angle. In his hometown.
<laughs> Crowd going crazy for Kurt around this time. Can't help but get lit. Stone Cold. Fucking love Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Look at that. And what's crazy is him coming back to WWE. He's still the India NWO Hulk Hogan. They wanted the old Hulk back. Like they were showing him love. Like he used to get, bro. They wanted the old Hulkster back. He had been such a good heel for so long. It's like, all right, we miss we we missed the 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 eat your vitamins Hulk Hogan, and it, and it's crazy how how that happens, man. Ah, oh, bro, because NWO was so over. It's like it's hard when you're a good bad guy. At some point, people are gonna cheer you, and people are gonna love you. <laughs> Look at that. Just like WrestleMania. These people. Oh, he's going to come out here and in his face. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It made my night. Oh, this is great. We got to run that back. Y'all know why. If you know me, you know why it's great. It's one of my favorite wrestling theme songs of all time. Oh, my God. Yes, wrestling team entrance of all time. One of my favorites. Yes! Oh, man. Love it, bro. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I know everybody's Brett the Hitman. Oh. I think this is one of the first times he had came back to WWE. Oh, they probably had to cut it. They they Can most dig it? they most likely had to cut it. That's the only reason why Can that segment wasn't fully in there. Obviously, the Undertaker retirement speech, which I can I'm okay with that being number one. It's fucking Undertaker, but they had to cut it. They, that's the only thing I can think of. They probably got copyright or it got blocked, so they had to cut the clip. But overall, um, yeah, man, this this was this was great. This was fantastic. It brought back memories, brought back nostalgia. It's always it, it gave me some goosebumps in some of these clips just to see the standing ovation that us fans give these wrestlers, bro. You don't understand how much that means to them. You know what I'm saying? Like just thousands of people showing you love and admiration for what you're doing. It that hits. It, and it, it's a lot of times it breaks their character. A lot of times it's hard for them to stay in character because it's like, bro, you're getting hit with waves of love, bro. That's that's a whole nother level of 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 just I can't even describe it. It's just it's that's on a whole nother level. Not many people can experience that. So but comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite standing ovation from this clip. Um for me, obviously, it's the Kane one. I'm biased. I fucking love that theme song, bro. It just just hits me <laughs> but let me know down below but i appreciate all love and support road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace